Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have for you the update of, the, of my latest video introducing the Dell Precision 3640 workstation and as I mentioned at the end of the video um, I was hoping to find a solution for the cooling system of the computer because as I mentioned as well in the video the computer gets really hot my configuration, the, the computer that I got, it was configured with a Intel 10th generation 10900K, which is a 10 core CPU, 20 threads, running up to, to 5.3 GHz, which it can get hot. And as I mentioned in the, in, in the video as well, if you are using the CPU 100%, the, the temperature is going to immediately step up up to 100 degrees Celsius, which is pretty bad for the CPU. And even if they are workstation and they can handle it, it was pretty loud and the fan was trying to do its best to keep the temperatures down and to keep the CPU cool, but it was just not possible. And then the CPU start, starts to, uh, to throttle because of temperature and the, just the cooling capacity of the integrated cooling solutions from Dell, it was just not to cool down the CPU at maximum performance. So I found this very interesting Dell post in the, one of the Dell forums from one guy and I just want to say thank you very much to this guy that started this topic I think like two years ago already and it has a lot of really positive comments and it was really just keeping updated until today and he was trying to find a solution to as well to the temperatures in his Dell Precision 3630. And he started to do some research and thinking how he can solve this problem and he posted in this forum. I will link the forum post in the description below of the video and then you can take a look by yourself how he managed to do it and this gave me the idea and like, okay, if it was possible for the 3630, it is going to be possible for the 3640 and probably it's going to be possible as well to the 30, for the 3650 model. And this is, I'm, I'm just going to show you the results of what I did and what exactly did I utilize in order to make this possible. I'm just going to tell you in advance, I am so happy with the results of the, of the computer now. It is really quiet, it is really, uh, the temperatures are really low and even if at max uh, usage of the CPU, it's staying really, really, really cool and we just reduce the temperature from 100 degrees Celsius at max uh, at max usage to 80 degrees and stable and we improve as well the frequency it is not at all loud and yeah i think it's just a really nice thing to do if you have if you own these workstations and you are not happy with the temperatures so let's talk about now what did i use and now i'm going to show you now the results as you already noticed in my latest video this is the cooling solution that you get with your computer. When you get one of the high-end CPU models, the i7s, the i9, the Xeons with 8 cores and 10 cores, you get this cooling solution. This is the one that is attached to the CPU and even if the blower here fan it is bigger, it's big and it seems like robust enough, it doesn't matter, it's just does, it's not able to keep the temperature low of, of such a high-end CPUs. So this was the, the one that it was included and for this solution actually it was more easier than I was expecting. I was expecting to, to spend more time on this but just to make it quick you need one of these guys. This is the Corsair H60 2018 and above versions because there is an old H60 that does not work. This is the newer model. I paid for this I think 70 euros new which I think is a pretty good price and in United States probably you can get it as well. 60 maybe used for 50 US dollars on eBay or something like that. I think this is pretty, pretty nice thing. You, you just need one of these. And one of the things that he recommended in the post is that the CP, the fan that it was included with the H60, it was a little too thick. And he recommended maybe in the future for, for future solutions to use a uh, a smaller and thinner fan to 120 millimeters. So I got this one. This is the Noctua NF812 by 15, which is 15 millimeter thick. And it is a pretty standard and cheap fan. 
I think I paid 14 euros for this. It's, it's, it's going to be around 10 to 15 eu euros, US dollars, depending on, your, on where you're living. And to be honest, you just need these two guys, the H60 and the Noctofan. And to be honest, it's going to be more than enough. I'm going to show you now the results. I'm not going to take you through my process because I was doing it in my basement and I didn't record that because I was more worried about not getting my computer destroyed and not, and you know, not to film. So I'm going to show you the results and I'm, go I'm going to exp explain you how easy it was to be honest. It's like really easy. It took me like maybe 10 minutes, not more than 10 minutes. So let me show you. So this is my computer. I'm back in my desk and let me show you how it looks. Yeah, actually it was pretty easy. You, we just need to open this. Take care that it doesn't drop. So this is how it looks. This is the Corsa H60 and this is the Noctofan here. As you see, the 15 millimeter stick helps a lot in order to, to fit perfect. And if you have the 3640 model, there is no need to bend this piece of metal because in the post, this guy shows that he needed to bend this metal in order to get fit the, the radiator. But to be honest, just because of mechanical components that are here, the, the, radi the radiator just fits perfect and it is pretty stable, to be honest. There is no way that you move this, this radiator. And I think it looks pretty nice. There is no need to damage your case or to make some modifications to the case. Just put it here through and then we need to open this. But you, we, we need to open this very carefully because the, the tubes are there. So let me show you here now. And this is how it looks from the inside. This is the Corsa X6, the cables are there and then the cables are running here exactly. Maybe you can notice. So this is how it looks and there is no need to make some modifications to the main board. There is no need to install some brackets or something there is you just need the four screws that already are pre uh, in your h60 package as you when you bought it and then the screws are there they are there are double sided screws you just insert one side into the already uh, screw slot in the already thread slot that the member has and then just the cpu cooler and as you see as it is and it's that and then the guy recommended as well for the future that he wanted to get uh, 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 yeah, an, a Y connector in order to get the, PWM, the PWM to the fan and to connect as well the pump. So the nice thing about the Noctua fan is that the Noctua fan has already included one, one Y uh, extension and then you just need to go there to the to the PW connector in the main in the main board of the precision and then split it. One goes to the Noctofan and the other one goes to the pump connector. You just need to use one of the SATA power cables in order to plug in the pump. And that's all to be honest, that's pretty much all. It took me like 10-15 minutes to do it and it works perfectly. So let me show you now the temperature. This is the CPU on idle running at 5 gigahertz approximately and the temperature with the new Corsair cooler it's around 40, 44 degrees 43 degrees so now it's rendering now it's 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 doing its job and as you can see here now the speed is around 4 gigahertz 4.10 gigahertz because it's as well reducing the speeds for the old cores and because of the temperatures. But the difference now is that the CPU is at 77 degrees, 78 degrees, around 80 degrees. Before, was used to be always 100 degrees Celsius. And 100 degrees Celsius, as I mentioned, is not good for the CPU. Even if we are still capped in speed a little bit, but at least I know that my CPU is going to get cooled properly. And if I do something very fast, like now I'm 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 rendering again, the speed is the speed is going high as well. So it's doing its job to be honest pretty well, the cooler. And the, the temperature is 
always going to 100% in the moment that the, the pump reacts and then goes back to 80, which is a really nice thing to have in the CPU cooler. The computer is pretty, pretty silent. There is no noise coming out from the computer, which I think is a pretty nice thing. So at the end, the results are incredible, to be honest. I am so happy how it came out at the end and it took me only like 15 minutes. It was just remove CPU, remove the hard drive cage, Okay, I sacrificed one of my hard drives, but to be honest, it was a little bit excessive and I reduced to two 8 terabytes instead of three 8 terabytes, which it's, to be honest, perfect for me. And as I say, it took me like 15 minutes, like around 90 euros to purchase the stuff extra. And it, that's what's all and that's everything. And now I'm sure that my CPU is going to get cooled properly. It's really silent, my computer, the, the other blower CPU, this blower CPU, it was really, really loud and it was not even getting uh, below 100 degrees Celsius. So it was working at its maximum and it was doing like really nothing. Uh, so I, I'm really happy how it came out. So thank you very much for watching. I just hope this helps you if you want, if you want to purchase one of these workstations because they are now getting really low in prices. No one wants to buy them, as I mentioned. And I think they are a pretty nice alternative now for most of you guys that you are looking for a nice, small, compact workstation. But this computer can get pretty hot if you get one of the most the high-end CPUs. So I think this is a pretty nice solution. So thank you very much to Simonka that started this thread like almost, almost than two years ago already. And it's a nice thing to know that there is other people that are facing some problems as well, like you, and they got to find solutions, which I think is a pretty nice thing about the internet and the posts and the forums. So thank you very much for guys for watching. I hope this video helped you a little bit and it's just a small upgrade to my new computer in order to make it a little bit better and to work better for me. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next time.